Dear friends, we are told you exaggerate. It's the usual violence. These brave young people don't feel good about themselves. They suffer from being excluded from the French society. And then, of course, it's the fault of Israel. Well, no, it's not the fault of Israel. And we are not exaggerating. We are fed up of having to be protected. We are fed up that the word Jew has become an insult in the schools of the Republic. We are fed up that our children are attacked outside the schools, that our seniors are insulted, that our synagogues are attacked, and that our shops are threatened. We are tired of suffering boycotts. With 91% increase in anti-Semitic acts this year, France is no longer the land of freedom. We are 1% of the French population and we are suffering 50% of racist, xenophobic and homophobic violences. Hooligans are robbing, are raping, are killing. Enough of Fofana, of Mohamed Merah, of Medine Bouche. Enough of fearing the return to France of the 1,000 jihadist French citizen misled in Syria and in Iraq. Certainly, the police has done an outstanding job. It showed it by immediately arresting the perpetrators of the Crete assault. But France must absolutely, imperatively, eradicate this cancer. Otherwise, France will no longer be France. A huge action is needed. For this, we must mobilize all the forces of the nation, including teachers, including judges, parents, journalists, and trade unions. Jews feel threatened. Some are already leaving the country, the country in which Jews have so much contributed. If France does not make the fight against anti-Semitism a national cause, an imperative obligation for all citizens, Jews will leave en masse, and France may then fall into the hands either of the Sharia or of the Front National. So, let's fight together against stupidity, against ignorance, against medieval prejudices in order for France to become again the country of brotherhood, of freedom, in which all citizens can live in harmony. Vive la France!